join us today at the brand new Gridserve electric forecourt at Gatwick Airport, with the first EV group to meet here and to mark the occasion we cut a ribbon with the Sussex EV members in attendance. Mittel Meta, the general manager, confirms why he's excited to join the Gridserve team at Gatwick. I saw the opportunity um, in terms of where Gridserve is going, um, where we need to create a change, um, and you can see it from the results today, the amount of people that have come in, um, given us a positive, you know, positive reviews and saying, you know, we need more of this. So, why well, was this, this particular site chosen and what, what did it offer that other sites couldn't have offered? I mean, first of all, this is the first of its, first of its kind um, at an airport um, with the facilities that we offer as well and being at Gatwick Airport, one of the you know, busiest, biggest airports across the world. Um, we built it here to show what is possible. Um, if we can do it here, it can be done at any other airport. How have you found it over the, the period for going from building to, to opening? Is, have there been any particular challenges or anything that's been very difficult to achieve? Um, yes, we heard, you know, we faced a few hurdles in terms of um, getting the grid connection, but that was all ex external issues um, in terms of getting a site like this ready. And how have you found the response since it's open? You've been open a few weeks now, I think? Yeah, since the uh, 4th of January. And how has the response been in terms of number of charging sessions and cars coming in? Yeah, so, so far we've delivered 40,000 kilowatt hours um, and about 1,600 <laughs> sessions uh, to vehicles since the 1st of January. So um, it's, it's a big number and it's, all, it's just going to go, you know, in a positive way. Um, all the customers that have been coming on site have been giving us positive reviews saying that we need more of this across the country, you know, from local taxi drivers to people, you know, flying out of Gatwick. Um, you know, 30 million passengers go out of Gatwick from both terminals. So having something like this at the forefront of what we need to do is a positive thing. This site is slightly different from some of the electric forecourts you've done before. But what have you learned from the previous experiences that you've managed to put in here? Trying to get onto a smaller footprint. The other two forecourts that we've got, especially Braintree, is on a bigger footprint. And it's the location as well. So um, a lot of planning is required and you need a really, really good team um, that can bring that alive. So, you know, getting the grid connection, um, you know, the local community as well, just bringing them to show them that what is possible, how we do it as well. Um, but it's all on that on that smaller footprint. What's the focus for GridServe going forward? Is it smaller sites, more like this? What's, what's more, next? More sites. <laughs> more sites. More sites, yeah. More right. sites. So, uh, yeah, more hubs, more on the motorway, uh, more forecourts like this. We've got a lot coming up, so, yeah, watch this space. What would you say differentiates you from some of the other large charging providers? Service is the main thing. So a lot of reviews that we've had from customers saying that, oh, this is lovely over here. I can first, uh, I'll charge first time it works um, versus the competitors where you can't, you can't call someone at a certain, yeah, yeah, certain yeah. time of the day. Um, and having that reliability of having that service um, on the phone and having a guru on site. So we have a guru on site that will, that will support customers with charging. Um, and then we have the wonderful retail team that assist in terms of the lounge experience as well. So it's having that service element, which makes us better than the others. And I notice you have some Tesla superchargers here, and I think there are some on the other sites as well. How is that alliance working out? Is that a strategic thing going forward, or are you trying to do something different? A bit of both. So we want to cater for every customer out there um, and having that Tesla charger up there as well. Um, K is for that Tesla customer as well because we want to be that one-stop place where you just come here. Um, we've got AC chargers, we've got the 350 chargers as well and the Tesla charger. So we don't want to leave um, any EV customer without being the ability to charge over here. And what's next for the local area? As this builds up and more there are more electric cars, this is going to get busier and busier. Is there a plan for what's next for, when I'm talking on behalf of Sussex EVs here, what, what's next in the local area? It's hard to say because it's early stages, um, but this is only the beginning. So, I mean, we've only been open just over two weeks, so we want to build this community in terms of Gatwick. Um, we've got Peace Pottage 11 minutes down the road, so um, between Peace Pottage and, and, and this forecourt, we want to build on this community, be available for every customer that is in Sussex, um, and then see where that heads up in, in the next, next few years. So is the idea that this one to serve uh, maybe airport customers and Peace yeah. Pottage, the kind of down and to and from Brighton area? We want to, we want to serve every single customer here because there is no restrictions. We, we are just outside the airport, so um, you, you don't have to be a customer that's flying out. Gatwick, you can just be coming down the M23 and come into a forecourt like this. 
and Peaceport is busy as well. So we're we're that balance between um, a hub and a forecourt. So yeah, we want to we want to cater for the community rather than just airport customers. To wrap up, is there anything you'd like to say to Sussex EVs, you know, the, the group, and, and other users in the local area? Um, just pop in. Just pop in because we've we've been two weeks. We've been open. Um, we want to see more people in here, and we want to show you what it's about, um, and we want to show you that this is the way forward, and the reliability of what we serve um, as a business for you know Sussex EV is just pop down. Let's just have a chat. Okay, great. Well, thank yeah. you very much for your thank time. You. It's been a pleasure. Yes, thank, thank you. you.